After running her first half marathon, Alex Pierce expected to have sore muscles, but she was concerned when her body wasn't recovering as quickly as she thought it would. I would try and run, and I could not get for probably 30 seconds or a minute more before it was just really bad pain. So Alex met with physical therapist Matt Briggs of the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center who performed a therapy called dry needling. You didn't feel that, did you? It's a growing trend that uses small solid needles to stimulate tissue, release tight muscles, and alleviate pain. Unlike massage therapy, it can do all those things in a fraction of the time. Rather than using your hands or a foam roller, this is using a needle and it's actually you're directly going to the site of dysfunction. Acupuncture uses needles in one part of the body to influence other areas, not dry needling. In a new study, experts here are inserting needles directly into problem areas, hoping to help with a condition known as runner's knee, a painful and persistent problem with few treatment options. Briggs says while many patients insist that it works, his team is looking for proof. There's a theory that it, it changes the way the nerves function and it changes the way the muscle functions. Uh, changes the way the signals reach the spinal cord um, and what signals reach the spinal cord and how people perceive pain. While researchers test those theories, Alex says she has all the proof she needs because just a few needles in her knee is all it takes to get her back on her feet. This procedure will help you keep gaining fitness. I mean, if you want to train for something, it's not going to sideline you during training and hopefully you'll recover faster afterwards. Um, that's a big deal. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.